want to wrap up this series of videos with just some concluding remarks. Number one, in the previous video, I realized I kind of glossed over this step going from here to here. Let me explain what's going on here. So we're trying to solve this is equal to zero. Let's do that. So to recopy, we're trying to solve sine squared theta minus cosine theta times root three minus cosine theta is equal to zero. Expanding out this uh, multiplication, we'd have sine squared theta uh, minus root three cosine theta plus cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine squared theta is equal to zero. And oh look, what do we have? Cosine squared plus sine squared, that adds to one. So one minus three, sorry, root three cosine theta is equal to zero cosine theta would equal 1 divided by root 3, so theta would be the inverse cosine of 1 over root 3, and that's where we're getting the 0 0.96 radians from. So my apologies for glossing that over in the previous video. Uh, one final thing to talk about uh, has to do with Rolle's theorem. We'll end with this. If f is continuous on a closed interval a to b and differentiable in between a and b, if f of a is equal to f of b, then there's some point c between a and b such that f prime of c is equal to zero. So picture version of that to illustrate what's going on. So here is a, here is b, uh, and suppose that we have f of a is equal to f of b. So if we have a function that's continuous differential in between, at some point, at some point we have to have C here so that there is a horizontal tangent line F prime of C is equal to zero. So that's Rolle's theorem. We'll use this a bit more in the next section as well, section 4.3 on the mean value theorem. Uh, let's illustrate Rolle's theorem and we'll wrap up the video in this way. Um, so if we look at f of x is x to the fourth minus x squared, f of minus two is equal to minus two to the fourth minus minus two squared, and that ends up as 12. f of two is going to be two to the fourth minus two squared, that's also 12. So by Rolle's theorem, everything is nice. f of minus 2 is equal to f of 2. So there is c between minus 2 and 2, such that f prime of c is equal to 0. So if we crunch this out, f prime of x is 4x cubed minus 2x squared, sorry, 2x, so that equal to 0. 2x times 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. There's actually three different points. x is equal to 0. x is equal to 1 over root 2. x is equal to minus 1 over root 2. These are all critical points. They're all places in which the derivative is equal to 0. So Rolle's theorem says there exists a C. Here there's actually three different c's. All of them are between minus two and two. And so let's, let's call that a wrap. So section 4.2.